How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super creepy things that have been caught on camera that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. This creepy image was shared to the Facebook page Disbelief Paranormal Official by username Kiana. It was taken at around 10pm when she was hanging out at her cousin Jose's house. There appears to be a strange, anomalous figure lurking in the background. The poster notes that the photo was taken at night with no outside lights, yet through the window it looks as though it's daytime. Upon zooming in, they could also distinctly see the figure was a woman with long wavy hair seemingly holding an object. What makes the figure even more mysterious is that it seems to be somewhat transparent. So what do you think's been caught on camera here? A fleeting shadow person? Or is there another way to explain this mysterious figure? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you been enjoying chatting with fellow Slapped Hammers in our weekly live streams? Then why not keep that community spirit going by joining our Discord? We've got heaps going over there. You can chat about latest episodes, ghost photos, creepy videos, or just banter about what you think Bigfoot might smell like. If you want to join our Discord, just follow the link in the description box down below. We'll also pin a link in the comments down below. So when that happened, the only thing I can see in the backyard is a tall creature. When TikToker Streets of Heaven R Gold posted a video detailing a series of bizarre events that occurred in his neighborhood, the internet immediately began to run rife with speculation. In his seven minute plus retelling, the TikToker recalled his version of events from May 1st, 2023. He asserts that he and his brother in the backyard of their Las Vegas residence around midnight when they unexpectedly heard an odd sound emanating from overhead. Upon turning, he witnessed a bright light falling from the sky, which was quickly succeeded by a thunderous crash as the object struck to the ground. The TikToker and his brother then began hearing footsteps all around them. Around me. That's when he claims to have spotted an entity standing between 8 and 10 feet tall with an incredibly slender build. Acting quickly, the TikToker sought his father who reportedly also observed the towering creature. His father then told the boys to go inside at which point they captured this video. <laughs> The OP is adamant that although you can't see the creature very well in the footage, it's definitely there. The TikToker alleges that when he went to fetch some tools, he encountered another entity closely resembling the first. He describes it as having a large face, a towering and gaunt frame, and that it was of a greenish grey colour. Allegedly, as he looked the creature in the eye, he likened the sensation to the immobilizing effects of sleep paralysis. It was a tall, skinny, lengthy creature. He was a gray, greenish color. And when I looked at it in the eyes, my body just froze. Like the same way, the same experience as having sleep paralysis. Keep in mind, I'm staring at him and I look at his whole body and he has a weird looking feet and a big face and eyes and you can see a big mouth. Seconds later, the TikToker gained control of his body and he ran back into the house. From there, he dialed 911. Take a listen to the call. There's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so there's two, terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like, like I can't explain it, and big uh, mouth. They're shiny eyes, and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. As the family waited for the police to arrive, they could allegedly hear what sounded like footsteps on their roof. This news footage shows the TikToker recounting the events to the officers. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a, 
was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long ten feet tall. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did yeah, you see anything land really in did. your backyard? Or they see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Bizarrely, one officer tells the boy that his partner also saw something fall from the sky earlier that evening. Luckily, he was caught on their body cam. According to the TikToker, the police officers then entered the backyard where they discovered a perfect circle imprinted on the ground. Upon leaving the premises, one of the officers jokingly says to the TikToker and his family that, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. If those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> The boy then claims that he and his family re-entered the house and began praying. As they did, they heard a loud human-like scream coming from the backyard. Like scream in the backyard. Unfortunately, this is where the TikToker ends the video, noting he'll make a part two sometime in the future. However, it seems he's since deleted his account. Several skeptics have suggested that he might have made the story up for views or internet clout. Yet, not only was the story partially corroborated by the police officers, it seems that the TikToker no longer has a presence on the platform. User Paul Reed submitted this bizarre photo to our Slaptam community page on Facebook. Strangely, the boy's head appears to be missing in the image. According to the uploader, his ex-wife took the photo which is of their grandson during a strawberry picking day at Redford Knotts, UK. Viewers of the image were quick to offer explanations for the bizarre anomaly. Some think that the picture might be a hoax, edited perhaps in Photoshop. Others believe that it might be a trick of perspective with the boy's head being obscured by part of the engine. However, if you look closely at the photo, the boy is actually some distance from the tractor. This is certainly a perplexing image. We'll throw this one over to you, the viewers, for assistance. What do you think's going on here? I'd love to hear your opinions on this one in the comments down below. This next mysterious clip was captured in Amesbury in Wilshire, England. Take a look. shows four lights hovering in the distance. Yet within a few seconds, one of them disappears. At this point, the camera holder zooms in on the objects. The center light then begins to flicker before it too vanishes from sight. The camera holder attempts to refocus the device when a third light disappears, this one even more sudden than the other two. Sure enough, a few seconds later, the final light blinks out of sight as well. While the sighting might seem mysterious at first glance, several viewers think that the lights might simply be flares, with one viewer highlighting that an aerial show took place in the area at a similar time to when this footage was captured. <laughs> UFO sightings over England have intrigued researchers, enthusiasts and casual observers for centuries fostering a sense of mystery and speculation about extraterrestrial life. Numerous reports from various regions of England document unusual aerial phenomena, often described as unidentifiable objects exhibiting erratic flight patterns or uncommon speed and maneuverability. These sightings range from the famous Rendlesham Forest incident in 1980, often dubbed Britain's Roswell, to more recent reports from civilians and even pilots. Despite rigorous investigation by scientists and ufologists, many of these sightings remain unexplained, feeding ongoing debates about the possibility of extraterrestrial visitations and the need for transparent investigation into these phenomena. The British government, like many worldwide, maintains a position of skepticism towards the existence of extraterrestrial UFOs, 
attributing most sightings to misidentifications of common earthly objects or phenomena. So what do you think the mysterious objects in this video are? Flares, drones, or perhaps something more mysterious? Let me know what you think this could be in the comments down below. <laughs> The Bridgewater Triangle is a region covering around 200 square miles in southeastern Massachusetts, known for its high concentration of unexplained phenomena, including sightings of unidentified flying objects, cryptids, and even ghosts. The boundaries of the triangle are generally defined by the towns of Abington, Rebirth, and Freetown at the vertices. One of the most infamous locations within the triangle is the Hockamock Swamp, a vast wetland where many strange occurrences have been reported. This includes sightings of Bigfoot-like creatures, massive snakes, and thunderbirds, giant birds with wingspans rivaling small planes. The swamp is also reputed to host spectral fires and is sometimes associated with poltergeist activity and other inexplicable events. In this short clip posted to Reddit by Il Grams, we see a group of paranormal investigators surveying the area. One of the investigators asks any present entities to turn the light on their REM pod blue if they would like them to leave the area. Sure enough, it does. If you want us to leave, make that go off one more time. Make it go to blue. We're out, all right, all right. Another site within the triangle, the Freetown Fall River State Forest has been the scene of various disturbing incidents, including crimes and reports of satanic cult activity. It's also been reported to host various paranormal phenomena like orbs of light and sightings of apparitions. Another key feature of the Bridgewater Triangle is its reported ties to Native American history and lore. The area was once the tribal lands of the Wampanoag people, and some theories propose the Triangle's strange phenomena might be connected to an alleged curse placed on the land during the conflict known as King Philip's War. Despite many reported incidents, evidence for the mysterious phenomena of the Bridgewater Triangle is largely anecdotal, coming from eyewitness accounts and local lore. Skeptics often attribute these mysteries to natural explanations or misinterpretations. However, the triangle remains a point of fascination for paranormal researchers, cryptozoologists, and ufologists to this very day. Before we take a look at a creepy photo that was submitted to our Slaptam Facebook page, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Robin Duncan, an avid ghost hunter, shared this creepy photo to our Slaptam community page over on Facebook. In it, she captured an image of what she believes might be a ghost along with several orbs next to her swimming pool in the backyard late at night. The poster notes that the figure and the orb seemingly vanished in subsequent photos. As you zoom in on the pictures, the shape becomes more and more resemblant of a person. It even looks as though you can see the figure's eyes and nose. Orbs are a highly debated phenomenon in paranormal circles. They're typically seen as small spherical light anomalies appearing in photographs or video footage. Many paranormal enthusiasts believe these orbs to be manifestations of spirits or other supernatural entities. Characteristics such as colour, size and behaviour are sometimes interpreted as significant, potentially reflecting the nature or mood of the alleged spirit. However, skeptics and many professional photographers argue that these orbs are typically caused by mundane factors. These can include dust, pollen, or moisture particles close to the camera's lens, which reflect the light from the flash in a way that appears as glowing orbs. Lens flares, bugs, or other small objects can also produce similar effects. Could it be possible then that this series of images has finally proven a connection between so-called orbs and paranormal entities like the one the poster believes they've captured? Let me know your take on this in the comments down below. Now, if you love creepy videos, then you'll love the rest of our content. You can check out these two links here for more, 
Also, remember to follow us on all our other socials. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 